welcome back to my channel for all of those who are already subscribers and if you are new thank you for being here my name is Jessica Myros I create content for the whole family and specifically today we're gonna be creating some food for you guys to give you some ideas and inspiration and I hope you really enjoy the theme today it's going to be a salty or you know some meal that it will be a salty meal <laughs> so this is in collaboration with a huge um, group of amazing youtubers I will be sure to um, leave the link on the description below so you guys can check that out but before you go be sure to check my video and tell me what you think on the comments below uh, give that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can watch more of my content I create everything from motherhood to lifestyle to traveling vlogs and much more so I hope you really enjoyed today's video the amazing host is Tiffany from small town six thank you for hosting these uh, amazing collaboration Tiffany and without further ado we are going to be making an eggplant parmesan yes if you have been following me along i have shared with you guys i've been growing watermelons and eggplant and the time has come for the eggplant to be used it's straight from my garden to my kitchen so let's get started all right guys i'm super excited to get this recipe started with you guys so it will be two eggs two large eggs we will whisk them until completely mixed up on a large bowl and then uh, we're gonna get started with the beautiful eggplant we're gonna peel the eggplant peel the skin off once you have that done then you're gonna Take note that my uh, eggplants are homegrown, uh, organic, so they're not as bulky and as big as you might get them at the store. So uh, the rounds are a lot smaller and a lot more time consuming, but it was definitely worth it, you guys. You'll see why. Um, then, uh, once you peel all the skin off, you want to make sure you uh, want to uh, cut them in rounds, in slices not too big not too thick and not too thin so you want to be sure to kind of keep it uh, medium um, size well guys i thought i always have a spaghetti sauce and obviously for the eggplant parmesan um, dish you need uh, spaghetti sauce although if you know me you know that I always change things around so surprise surprise today is not the exception I will be changing the spaghetti sauce to these uh, Sonoma Gourmet um, brand kale pesto with white cheddar sauce instead um, you guys can follow how it is it's exactly how it is with the spaghetti sauce but just for today and I'm sure I'm not gonna regret it because these if you don't know about this sauce it is so so delicious so just pretend if you want to follow the spaghetti sauce uh, version go ahead and pretend that this is spaghetti sauce otherwise you can go ahead and give this a try if you do so let me know what you think because we absolutely love it over here Okay, so basically on the recipe I was following, uh, they mentioned this and they said that it's not essential or it's not crucial, but if you wanna remove um, the bitter taste of the eggplant that might have, and since I don't know how it was gonna be, since it's my first time uh, trying my uh, homegrown eggplant, I wanted to give it a try. So basically what you do, you soak them and rinse them with salt water. Um, once you do that, um, you let them rest for a few minutes and then you drain them and lay them down on a paper towel. Once you do that, um, 
then you can get started on the rest, the fun part and the most time consuming part of this dish. Um, especially for me, since I was doing the little eggplants that I had, the little rounds, it's a little bit time consuming, like I said, since it's homegrown. But um, it is, once you get the hang of it and you start getting comfortable with the process, I started putting the several of the rounds on the um, egg wash and then just speed dial. After that, you wanna put them in the oven at 350 degrees for about 10 to 13, 15 minutes, depending on how hot your oven is. Um, then once you start seeing them a little bit brown, then you can go ahead and take those out. And then you're gonna do a layer of the spaghetti sauce um, first on a, a deep dish um, for the oven. And then uh, you wanna layer them like I was doing here um, with uh, the rounds of the um, eggplant. After that, the recipe calls for shredded mozzarella or fresh mozzarella cheese. In this case, I only have the pre-sliced uh, mozzarella cheese. Uh, so I went ahead and go ahead and just use what, what you can and what you have. And then on top of that, you're going to um, uh, sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan cheese as well. And then you're just gonna repeat the same thing, layering the sauce and then the eggplant and then the cheeses. And after this, you guys, it goes fast and smooth and easy peasy because we're just gonna be layering everything up uh, with the eggplant, the cheeses, the sauce, all the way until you're done with your eggplant. In this case, I had just a few pieces left uh, the very last of eggplant so I just went ahead and put it right on top after the sauce and just add some um, leftover breadcrumbs because I didn't want them to go to waste add some parmesan cheese and some Mexican shredded cheese right on top just to add an extra cheese to my dish this wasn't the original recipe, but like I said, I always change things around and it actually turned out great, you guys. Look at that cheese. All right, guys, let's give it a try, okay, and see how it is. Mm. Mm. It actually is super, super good. Um, just so you, you guys know, I was really nervous because I had to switch to these type of sauce instead of the spaghetti sauce, but it turned out great. It really does taste good. So you guys um, can give this a try. Um, if you do use the spaghetti sauce, let me know what you guys think. Um, if you end up using these that I do highly recommend it, um, it's gonna be amazing so if you are new and if you stay this long hit I that subscribe it. button so you can keep enjoying more of my content and uh, my family adventures and lifestyle um, and don't forget to give that thumbs up that really helps my channel also finally once you're done with this video go ahead into my description box and um, go check out the other ladies um, videos it's gonna be a great collab I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.